One of my most requested people ever to do is Kim Kardashian, so we're back with another look. Uh, spring trends are supposed to be hot, bright colors, and so I decided that if you can't commit to doing a bright pink all over yourself or a bright pink bag or something like that, we might as well join the trend by doing a hot pink lip. And as most of you know, my absolute favorite is Girl About Town from MAC. Um, that post will probably be coming before or after this tutorial on spring trends, but really, really excited about it. So let's get started with Kim Kardashian. I've already done my face um, stuff and I've gotten my eyebrow like hers. Hers is a little bit thicker than I normally do, so got that done. And I'm going to start out with the Aquatique primer. I like this primer except for the fact that inside, when I rub my finger against it, it just kind of becomes a little bit more grainy than I'd like. Other than that, um, I've been liking it. I'm going to use two colors for the eye color. Um, basically, it looks like a wash. just all over her eye except for <clears throat> a couple places where there's some contouring. So I'm going to use Vapor to give me some of the pink hue that's in there, but then also Shroom to just be a very basic brow highlight. Because it's a wash, I'm going to be taking my half inch Maxine's Mop, dipping it in both, and going over my whole entire eyelid. At the very top, I'm going to take just a hint of nylon, which has more of a goldish, orangish. Can you see that? There it is. Just up with, or just up. Right up here at the point of your arch, where it protrudes just a little bit more. Like I said, not much contouring in this, so we're just going to take something that's a little bit of a shade darker than the brow bone and everything, and that's Silk from our Kohl's palette. Still very, very light. I'm going to take a floofy brush. In this case, I think I'm going to be taking... Where is it? Um, is this my 224 or my Sigma? Nope, it's my 224. Just going back and forth in the crease. It'll still give us the illusion of a wash, but just a slightly, slightly hair darker than our brow bone color. So it's not as much of a drastic difference from her liner to this seemingly all white eye. I'm going to take what I have left on my brush from contouring with um, the Naked Shadow and just swish that over my lid. This is not going to make a huge difference. However, it's going to weight our eye down just a touch from all this shimmer slash sparkle that we've been using to throw in a matte color very, very softly on our lid. Now it's time for liner. Her liner is extremely thick. I'm going to use my Fluid Line from MAC. I'm going to start with a thin line. I think that's always the smartest thing to do. And then work my way up. Comes to a point on the inner corner. On the bottom, follow that point. and come in. And I'm going to stop there with my liquid liner. I'll take care of the rest with a black pencil and smudging it underneath. But I'm going to stop there underneath. And then below, just follow the corner, or the, excuse me, follow the shape of your under eye and where that would extend, then about halfway down, 
draw straight over. And all you need to do now is fill in that triangle. And there's her liner. It extends a little bit further. I'm going to drag out the tail. Okay, and I'm just going to make that a touch thicker. So there's her eyeliner. Go ahead and do that to the other eye exactly how you did it to this eye. Now we're going to take our MAC Cole Pencil in black, or you can use your Wet n Wild, and just line the upper and lower waterline. I want to smudge this out softly so I'm going to take my Merle Norman brush which is eyes number three. Let's see right there. It's got a nice tip to it but it's very soft. So I'm just going to lightly keep it on the point and rub this in. Now let's move on to cheeks. I'm going to be using some bronzer from Nicole Miller just right here in the hollow. Very, very light touch on this. I want the cheek color to be a lot more than the bronzer. And with my 129 from MAC, I'll be using my Coastal Scents blush in this top pink color right here. And that I will put right above that bronzer I just did. She has a pretty angular nose, or very straight, so I'm just going to do a little shading. Now for the lip color, so I'm going to be using Magenta from MAC there. Just lining my lips and then filling it in with Girl About Town and I'll show you that in just a second. To get Kim's full look I had to go over my lips a little bit and she has more of a pointed Cupid's bow in this picture. I started at the outside of my lip, followed my own original lip, then went underneath to give myself more of a larger bottom lip also to match hers. Now what I'll do is I'll fill it in with magenta softly. There's the top lid completely filled in. We're going to leave this center part completely nude, completely empty. Just fill in the corners. I did fill in right here as well, but I still kept this lower part pretty clear of any product. Now let's get out our lipsticks. To emphasize that bottom lip even more, I'm going to take Myth, which is right here, and then this one, this bright pink, is Girl About Town. So Myth, right here in the center, Kind of rub it into that liner that you have at the bottom. And then Girl About Town, that bright pink, all over the rest of your lips. I still am going to use Girl About Town in the center, but when it's mixed with that myth, it will still make it lighter. Now she is wearing a gloss, but gloss tends to travel quite a bit. I'm using Max Lip Gloss putting it on the back of my hand and I'm only putting that in certain areas as well mainly here and right here so that gives us our gloss right there now time for some false eyelashes so there is our Kim Kardashian look with a bright pink lip and some pink cheeks to go along with it. I used my Ardell's 105s this time because it was a little bit more apparent that she was wearing false lashes, plus these are a little bit more separated, so I thought that they went with the look a little bit better. Hope you guys liked it and try it. Send me some pictures, and remember to get your March favorites into me. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.